morning friends and welcome to weekly vlog episode 19 we're going on a road trip today it's Saturday the I should know this date off by heart because we've been looking forward to this day for ages it's Saturday the 26th of March my friend Kim gets married to Dave today and I am really excited so I'm going on a road trip down to Southampton to celebrate her wedding day with her and also of course to see the sea traffic permitting I have left enough time to get down right to the coast before I go back to the cricket club for the wedding so let's go and do this journey thing I'm gonna have to stop for a cup of tea as well on the way right let's go let's go let's go on a road trip I can see the sea I don't think you can see the sea through the car windows. I am here at the seaside. I can see the Isle of Wight. My friends will be on a ferry to the Isle of Wight sometime about now. This is Milford on sea. It is blowing an absolute gale. I was gonna park facing the sea, you know, like I would have done with my parents and my grandparents, except as I got to the space, the waves, the tide's in and the waves were just bashing against and, and actually over the car. So anyway, welcome to Milford-on-Sea, west of Southampton and directly opposite the Isle of Wight. Isle of Wight is over the uh, stone bank there now, over the dune. This is sort of an inlet. I've come to Hatchet Moor. So this is Hatchet Moor. It is moorland in the middle of the New Forest. I just thought I'd stop here and see, see what was here really. I am a mess. I did get a little bit damp <laughs> by the sea, but never mind. It's just it is just completely beautiful. of my mini New Forest tour and I am in Tillery Road. I am a mess. I know I'm a mess. Kim, I promise I will shower and wash this 
and do this before I come to your wedding. This is definitely the best stop for pony viewing. I may well have been here before. We came camping in the New Forest and had an amazing holiday as kids. And I remember getting back to the tent one day and discovering a pony was in our tent eating our mints that we left in a bowl. Wrapped mints. I am definitely getting a feeling of deja vu here. I just seen, I just think I've ridden my bike here or walked it. I just recognize this bit. Dad, have I been here before? Please shut the gate. It's Tilly Road down there and this one's called Standing Hat. Do you keep a list of everywhere we ever went on holiday? I texted my mum, I told her where I was and I asked her if we'd been here. And the answer is yes, I'm so right. Just there, those white specks there aren't cars, they're caravans. That is the campsite we stayed in. I was so right. It might have been 25 years ago. But I remember places. <laughs> well, we came here twice, and the first year we stayed in that campsite. I know it's that one because Mum said it was the campsite near the big hotel, which I know is there because I just drove past it. And the other time we came, we stayed on the other side of the road. Thank you, memory. I know you're doing all right. Happy days! You see, this is why you should take your kids outdoors because it's stuff like this that we remember. to my hotel. I'm in the Holiday Inn Express at the Aegeus Bowl which is the cricket club here in Southampton. This is my bed, nice big bed, view over the car park, which I never mind because it means I can see my car. <laughs> such a nice time. Kim and Dave, thank you so much for inviting me to come to celebrate your wedding with you. I know we don't get to see each other very much, but it was really nice to be able to come and meet some of your family and everything else. And I think it's fair to say that we all had a good evening. I really hope that you've enjoyed your day. I hope that you've been able to remember snippets of the day that will stay with you forever. I genuinely hope that you will remember this day with a smile, with happiness for the rest of your lives together. Good afternoon, it is Sunday afternoon. I am home from my road trip to Southampton. My journey home took four and a half, five hours. Traffic, not so good. Have had some chilli that we defrosted from the freezer, so one of those bits of vegetarian chilli. If you haven't tried it yet, go try it. Really good meal. And now I'm going to start, because it is Easter Sunday, I'm gonna start on this. Good morning, friends. It's Monday morning, it's Bank Holiday Monday, and out there is horrible. It's half past eight. I'm up. Wellies are out, ready to take the rubbish out when I've sorted the bins. I've got a load of washing to put out. We made a bit of a mess with the whole washing up dishwasher scenario. Oh, more Easter eggs. These ones are from my sister. Thanks very much, Ronnie. So, more, most importantly, a cup of tea. Empty the dishwasher, empty the washing machine, put the washing on the air upstairs, which means I've got to put the clean washing away, put the washing up away, refill the dishwasher, do the bins. Oh, the kettle's completely broken now, by the way. That's annoying, isn't it? The lid comes right off. We have planned a motorbike ride with some friends today, except 50 mile an hour winds and heavy rain. So we cancelled that, which is a shame. Which is a real shame, because I think this would have been our last chance for a group ride before we go away. We can't do anything about the weather. 
Comment below with which city in the world you are watching my vlog from. Here in the UK, we have changed to our British summertime. Yeah, just feeling a little bit jet lagged, which is a bit weird, really. Because we've only lost an hour. Good evening, friends. Now then, it is Tuesday evening, and we've been off work today. Work's closed today, which is brilliant. So we've been off. I am now vlogging, and I haven't vlogged for a couple of days, but the main reason is because the front-facing camera, as I explained in last week's vlog, when I ha it sort of slipped down inside, had a bit of a crescent mood, and it started flashing purple, and there were all lines across. This morning, I had a Genius Bar appointment at the Apple Store in Meadow Hall, which is in Sheffield. So we drove over there, so sort of 120 mile round trip, but that is my closest Apple Store. I didn't think I'd have any problems. The phone was less than a year old. It does appear to be a known problem that is all over the internet, lots of people talking about it. I was right, they were really good. I mean, apart from the fact that it being completely chaotic in there, really, really busy, but Easter holidays. They saw me, they verified the problem, and then they kept the phone for an hour and just replaced the front. So I have a new screen, which included the camera and the um, thumbprint thing at the bottom. So that, the whole front of the phone's been replaced. So far, so good. Good morning all, and how are you this fine, this very, very fine Wednesday morning? Just look at that sky, oh yes. So, it is Wednesday, it is my last day off of the Easter holidays. So far, I've done a load of washing, I've tidied the kitchen, I've written a blog post, so head over to Splod's Blogs if you like getting outdoors, if you like hiking. I wrote up my Hike of Man tour. Right, so let me show you what's happening now. This is a job that I have been meaning to do for months. This is my utensils drawer, and this is everything from my utensils drawer, and I'm gonna sort it all out, chuck loads of stuff away, basically have a clean out and tidy up. All right, well, I didn't throw away as much as I thought, but drawer is loads tidier, and I can get to everything. Good morning, friends, and welcome to Thursday morning in my life. It feels very much like a Monday morning. I'm back to work today. A bit of washing up, just a couple of bits to do. Refilling the soda stream bottle. Do you have a soda stream? If you have a soda stream, what's your favorite syrup? I'll show you ours. It is... Fruit beer. Of course it is. Right. Let's fill the kettle. I've started packing for the big road trip. Just got a few bits together and sorted, which is good. I hate the fact that this is broken, but you know, you can't have everything. It still works. Well, there might be nice blue skies this morning, but it's absolutely freezing. My toes, my fingers, my legs, my chest. Good morning, everybody. Oh dear, but my hair's a little bit wild this morning. Went to bed with it in a plait. As you know, this is not the last day of the weekly vlog. I'm taking two more days, and I'm going up until Sunday this week. <laughs> Saturday morning, oh, it's raining, my favourite. It's quarter to seven, I'm going to work. My feet already hurt. For some reason I've managed to do something to my toe. This is gonna make walking miles and miles today really happy. Yay, let's go to work. Well, good afternoon, it's Saturday and I don't know if you can see through my sunroof, it is a completely beautiful afternoon. It is now the weekend. This evening I'm gonna have a bath and then I'm gonna have a takeaway because I know how to live. Good morning and happy Sunday morning. I am making a cup of tea in my broken kettle. Today we have two very important things happening. It is our goddaughter Olivia's first birthday today. Happy birthday Olivia. I will see you this afternoon. We're going down for a first birthday gathering. Really looking forward to that. Got some presents upstairs, which I still need to wrap, but they're all sat there ready and waiting. And then the other most important thing is we're going to go and meet a lady called Sue, and she's offered to look after Chip for us while we're away. Good evening, friends. It's Sunday evening, which means it must be the end 
of the latest weekly vlog. I don't really know what the coming week will bring, but I hope that this time next week, you'll come back and join me to see what I've got up to. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe using the red button. I would love to have more of you. I'm still aiming for 100. Answer any of the random questions that I've asked in this vlog. Give me an Ask Splods question. Take part in Splods WPC. And I will see you again next week. So thanks for watching and bye.